Hi guys, just been out for a run and I was asked to do a comparison between this Sky RC speed meter and one of the apps on my phone. You can't really see because it's all a bit bright out here. But this is a Digi HUD. And we can see maximum speed there 72.3 miles per hour according to that. 23rd, I don't know what that date is. No idea. Um, and then on the Sky RC, 71 miles per hour. So that's close enough, I reckon. Because when you're measuring speed using satellite tracking, you will get a different speed to what you're getting on your road tyres. So, yeah, there you go. That's DigiHUD and SkyRC. Just an extra point, you'll notice that battery's already dropped down quite a bit. It's supposed to last for two hours recording but that's based on the memory availability for storing the uh, memory, not for how long the battery should last. I think I've got a duff battery in here. Well, even better than that, I reckon that's 2009. I don't know if that's the date stamp, but that's what it looks like to me. So I reckon this is old stock. I'm sure somebody will correct me if I'm wrong. I've ordered some new batteries. Right, another speed app on the phone. This one's actually called Speedometer. I've just been driving through town. That says maximum 32 miles an hour. And Sky RC says peak speed 30 miles an hour. I did explain to somebody the other day. Oh, focus is gone. Yeah, I did explain to somebody the other day what I didn't want to try and do. Why is that focus playing up? Right, fixed. Sorry about that. I did explain to somebody the other day, I can't drive along and look at my speedometer on my car and compare the actual speed on here, because this is such a tiny screen, I'm not going to be able to see it when I'm driving. I suppose technically I could probably balance it down there if it doesn't fall off when we're driving along. But that still means I'm going to be straining to look at that and I'm, I won't be looking where I'm driving. Oh, that's all out of focus. Yeah. So I don't think I can do a, a real-time speed check on it. But then again, that is pretty well irrelevant because I won't be doing a, a real-time speed check when it's on an RC car and the RC car's going along because I won't be able to see the screen. So it is only the peak speed that's going to be relevant. And my car, I won't be looking at the speedometer all the time, checking peak speed on it. So not easy to do, but comparing that thing with the speed apps, it's looking pretty close. That's for exactly which one's right. No idea. Uh, if we just cancel that one. What other speed apps have I gone? Got I've tried DigiHub, and that one was called Speedometer. Oh, this other one's called Speedometer as well. And then GPS Speedo. Ulysses speedometer. So I've got quite a few loaded. What does that one look like? Oh, that looks nice and simple. Top speed and current miles per hour. Is that R for reset? Yes, it is. Oh, well, we might try that one next. That's nice and simple. I like that. Yeah. 
All right, well, we'll have a look at that one later. We'll just stop that one, stop, and we'll restart it later. I put back the phone on charge phone. I put this on charge earlier on while we were sitting at my daughter's house. Uh, obviously it's back down to only half power. I could plug it into there, couldn't I? Give it a bit of charge. Put that back in the car because I've got to put it back in the windscreen. I haven't had a chance to do that yet. Still, for those people who like to see, full charge on there. That should be charging that. So we'll leave that. And I'm going to go and see if I can fly some paper aeroplanes. Right guys, this is another speed app. That says my top speed was 40 miles an hour. That's very accurate. And Sky RC agrees with it. 40 miles an hour. So, that's about as close as we're going to get there. But as I explained earlier, I can't give you a real-time comparison because I can't look at that speedo and that speedo and that speedo at the same time when I'm driving. And it's not relevant because you're never going to look at this real-time when it's on a radio-controlled car or aeroplane. Another run. 68 miles per hour maximum there on the Sky RC. And then on this speed app, 28th of March. Yeah. Need to reset the date on this phone. It's obviously one of my old phones. Anyway, that one says 69 miles per hour maximum. <laughs> Average speed, 15.6. Moving average speed, 23.8. I wonder if we can see what the average speed is on this one. Uh, mode. All right, peak, 68. Average 15. And this one, maximum 69. Average 14.6. And a bit more detail there that we're not really interested in. So, how do we get out of that? Right, so that was Ulysses speedometer. So the only one we haven't tested out of the five that I've got loaded is that one. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.